have fun tonight Cause baby I don't need Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the five things I do not buy summer edition. I thought this would be a really great collab because I've seen and become really interested in videos where budgeters, parents, young adults, millennials, what have you, share the things they do not buy in attempts to either save money or live simply. And then I thought to myself, what if we did a collaboration that put everyone's list together in a summer things I do not buy. If you like budgeting or things I don't like kind of videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to click the subscription button located down below. But without any further ado, here are the top five things I do not buy summer edition 2017. Number one on my list is a pool or a country club membership. The condo that I recently bought has a pool that we all share, like a community pool and a single tennis court which kind of alleviate the need to go out and get a membership anywhere. But if you do not have that luxury, I recommend finding like family or friends who also have a pool and kind of making it like a day. Like if you guys plan to have a picnic together, then you can go to the pool or use tennis courts, whatever you like to do in the summer. Personally, I don't see the point in having a membership. If I had like a family and I had kids that wanted to go swimming and I didn't have access to a pool, I would get it. But even so, memberships can be really pricey. So I nixed that one when I found a place that already had a pool and it's actually really nice. Number two are car washes or those in-car cleaning services. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but it's where you like drive your car up and they wash it and then somebody opens the door and they like vacuum and throw your trash out. For me, if I need my car washed, I just write it into my schedule, like go to your mom and dad's house. They have one of those like shop vacs that helps you clean out your car. And then I use their hose and just kind of hose off the outside. Some people even just wait until it rains and go driving on the freeway. Not that, not that extreme, but if I need to get my car washed, um, it's not that they're particularly expensive. It's just, I have the time. I don't have an excuse to not do it. So I just make the time go outside, maybe work on getting some sun, cause I'm still white. But no car washes and no in-car cleaning services. Number three was the hardest for me to put on this list and it was treats from the ice cream man. You know, that truck that drives by and plays all the goofy corny music and you run outside and you pay $5 for ice cream and you're really excited about it? Well, it was ruined for me when I went to the grocery store and saw that pints and big containers of ice cream were like a dollar and I went and spent five dollars for a single scoop and a waffle cone. I do like the ice cream man, not dissing him. He has a really great job. He goes out and gives ice cream to people. But for me, in my summer budget plans, I do not purchase ice cream from the ice cream man. Number four on my list are movie theaters. Now, I don't go to the movies year round, but particularly in the summer when it's really hot, people like to go to the theater because it's air conditioned, they can get a drink and a snack and go see a show. My personal way of getting around that has actually been to go onto social media or events pages here in Columbus, Ohio, my city where I live. They have a lot of free evening showings of like classic movies. Sometimes those classic movies are playing in like old theaters or even on like projections in the park. Or there's a really beautiful spot in the city which I love called the Scioto Mile. They have like a big screen they'll project like over the river so you can sit on this hill and bring a blanket and food and your friends and watch a movie completely for free. Not to mention this is brought up in a lot of budgeting videos so I won't hit on it too hard. Movies are expensive and that experience, the popcorn, soda, candy, tickets, that is really, really pricey. So I would recommend if you're trying to try things, be a little more budget friendly, look up on either Facebook or social media and see if your hometown has sort of like a movie night. I bet you've just Googled like movie night, the month, the year in your hometown, you'd probably find something good. Good for that. And last on my list are bottled drinks. I know when I spend a lot of time outside, case in point, I just did a wedding yesterday. Like I was in the bridal party. I didn't get married or officiate. Officiate? Is that the word? We're going to use that as the word. But we were outside for hours and our coordinator didn't think to like bring bottled water. All she brought was champagne for mimosas. So all the girls were just throwing back all the champagne and I was like, I will get sick if I drink any more of this. I just need water. And the temptation to go across the street and get a bottle of water was never higher, but unfortunately for us, the mother of the bride brought us 
a big case of bottled water, thank you to her. But number five on this list is bottled drinks, and I understand the need, especially in those hot summer months when you just want something cold to drink. But when I'm not in weddings, I try to bring like a tumbler or a water bottle, or now that I am training for a 5K, let it be known if you watched my summer bucket list, which I'll link above in the cards, shameless plug, I am training for a 5K, and I always make sure that I pack water. I'll usually put like as much ice as I can cram in the bottle and then put water around it, so when I go running, the water stays cold. But usually, if you just think ahead and always have bottles of water with you, the need to go out and spend like two to three dollars on a bottled beverage doesn't come up. Anyway, those are my top five things that I do not buy summer edition. Like I said before, this is a collaboration, so please check out the channels that are listed down below in the description box. And I will also have a link at the end screen letting you see all of our contributors in a playlist if you just want to click so they all play automatically. Check that out at the very end of the video. Once again, thank you guys for watching this. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to give it a thumbs up and then leave me a comment down below letting me know what things you do not buy for the summer or the hot months wherever you live. I am gonna try to start putting my positive comments towards the top of my feed. So leave me a nice positive comment and I will make sure to pin it at the top of this video's comment section. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.